politics and the will he or won't he question hanging over that big COVID-19 stimulus package. The president still refusing to sign the bill, even though the benefits from the previous package run out today. Millions of Americans on tenterhooks. ABC's Rachel Scott is on the story from Washington, D.C. Rachel, good morning to you. Dan, good morning. And that is the question. That COVID relief bill was flown to Florida where President Trump is spending the holidays, but he still has not signed it. And this delay will have dire effects for millions of Americans who are out of work and on the brink of eviction. This morning, as COVID relief hangs in the balance, millions of Americans out of work will lose their unemployment benefits today. President Trump spending the Christmas holiday on the golf course, as seen in this photo obtained by CNN. The bipartisan stimulus package still awaiting his signature. Trump taking to Twitter, saying he had many calls and meetings, demanding Congress increase the amount of the stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000, writing, give our people the money. But this is a bill his own team helped negotiate. Here is his Secretary of Treasury days ago, promising those stimulus checks would go out next week. People are going to see this money the beginning of next week. Leaders from both parties are urging the president to sign the bill to get immediate relief to the American people. I beg the president to know how many people in this country are scared. I hope the president looks at this again and reaches a, that conclusion that the best thing to do is to sign the bill. Unemployment benefits expire today. And if the president continues to hold off, the government shuts down Monday. The federal moratorium on evictions will end in less than a week. And we are facing the very real possibility of tens of millions of people losing their homes this winter during the height of COVID-19. And the consequences of that will be catastrophic for children and families, for communities, and for our country's ability to contain the pandemic. Stormy Cobb is a mother of three. She lost her job during the pandemic and was evicted just one week before Christmas. She waited more than six months for Congress to act. Now she says she's running out of options. It's been a lot of tears and we've just been in a continual struggle and hoping for another stimulus check. It feels like you failed as a parent, as a mom, when you have three children who depend on you. And so many like Stormy Cobb waiting for that relief. Democrats in a last ditch effort did try to increase the amount of those stimulus checks to $2,000, but Republicans in the House objected it. So the president now has the bill in his hands. Here are his options. He could sign it or he could veto it. That could force lawmakers back to Washington to try and override the president. But if he does nothing over the course of the next several days, the bill will expire and then it will be up to the next Congress to try and do this all over again and pass another stimulus package to get relief to the American people. Eva? And Rachel Scott for us. So many people hanging in the balance this morning. Thank you for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.